First, a U.S. aircraft carrier group sailed in the South China Sea on a so-called freedom of navigation exercise, the first routine operation in the region under new President Joe Biden. China's foreign ministry spokesman called the routine U.S. exercises a show of force and not conducive to the peace and stability of the region. Take a look. Led by the USS Theodore Roosevelt, the carrier strike group entered the area on Saturday. The U.S. Indo-Pacific Command said the same day Taiwan reported multiple Chinese jets and bombers had flown into its air defense zone. Beijing lays claims to nearly all of the South China Sea, despite Taiwan, the Philippines, Brunei, Malaysia, and Vietnam also saying parts belong to them. The South China Sea is a strategic waterway and also believed to have valuable oil and gas deposits. Beijing has moved aggressively to turn reefs into artificial islands capable of hosting military planes, angering nations which also stake claims in the area.